Hey guys, it's Kyle with uh, K2 Media. I'm going to do a short video on uh, Chave Show Express uh, and also show some of the uplighting fixtures that I just got. I bought them on Craigslist actually, got a pretty good deal on them. Uh, they're not the best lights, they're uh, American DJ Par 36s, uh, but they I think we'll get the job done. So uh, what we'll do is uh, do a a brief overview of the uplighting and then show you how it correlates uh, with Show Express. All right, guys, so what we're using is uh, Chave Show Express, as I mentioned. We've got the uh, Express 512 box, um, like 450 bucks. I got it from Guitar Center. The lights I'm using for today are a Chave Intimidator Spot 350 and eight. American DJ Par 36 LED wash cans. I just got them on Craigslist. Got them for a pretty good deal. Um, I do have a question about them. Uh, maybe somebody can help me. Uh, I'll show in a little bit. So real quick with uh, Show Express, so what I've done is I've built uh, eight different banks of lights. Now that's the most that it will allow you to get on one screen. You can have a second screen, which I do have. Um, I think I've only got four banks on there. I'll talk about that in a little bit later in the video. The first section that I've got there are wash lights. Now, I do not have any wash lights hooked up, so I'm not going to spend a lot of time on it. But you can see that I've got a whole bunch of different preset scenes that are probably the most common ones that I use. I've got blue, a couple different variations of blue, cyan, red, pink, purple, green, orange, yellow, white. You get the point. Um... Uh, one thing I do want to point out, though, and sorry this video is kind of shaky, I'm trying to hold my iPad, um, is you see these little green triangles that are on each one. That is a fade in and fade out. Okay, you'll see those on all the wash lighting and also on all the up lighting. The reason that I have them set up like that is because I want all the wash lighting and the up lighting to fade in seamlessly and fade out seamlessly or fade between colors seamlessly as well. Um, now, on the spot 150 uh, colors, you'll see that I don't have the fade in and the fade out because I want those to be quick and rigid. Same with the spot 350 colors. I, I don't want it to take its time changing colors. When I click a color, I want it to immediately go you know, straight into it. So the way that you do that um, is you simply right-click on the button. Uh, that you want to do and you click the fade in and the fade out options alright now you can also assign colors to the buttons as a quick reference you know uh, most people are visual people and it's easier to if you know you want a pink light really quick it's really easy to notice that you, obviously the button is pink you can assign a color by going to button color you can also assign an image by going to button image and here's a button image that I've got is that that color fade right there that's a like a color spectrum um, clip art that I got off of Google. There's another one right there for the, the party lights. Let me see if I can get the camera to focus on that. There we go. It's like a bunch of people partying. Um, and so that's what I've done with uh, pretty much all my picture or all the buttons. As you can tell, they're all color coded. The gobos all have uh, pictures of the gobo. The way I did that is I just shined the gobo on the wall, uh, took a picture of it, and then uploaded it. Um, same with the spot 350s. It's got different gobos than the 150s. Uh, so again, that's just a, a quick visual reference, you know, that that I use. All right. So since I've got the uplighting hooked up, let me um, show you uh, the way that it works. So right now, uh, green is on. Okay. So what I'll do is I will click from green to blue. And since I've got the fade on, fade on, fade in, fade out features on, it just, it does a quick transition. A quick seamless transition versus going green, blue. You know, it fades from one to the other. Now, here's my question about these lights. Maybe somebody can help me. This light works fine. You can see all the individual LEDs are working fine. Okay, now the one right next to it, it's missing like two rows. Okay. Now, this one over here works fine. This one, three quarters of the light doesn't work. All right? And so, uh, I guess my confusion is it seems to only be that way in DMX mode. It doesn't seem to be that way if I just, you know, put it on sound active. 
Um, so maybe somebody can help me with that. If not, you know, I, I like I mentioned earlier, I got them on Craigslist. I ended up getting them for like fifteen dollars per light, which is significantly cheaper. I've got eight of those, and I've got two more Slim Par sixty fours uh, that I use. Now, another thing I want to point out really quick while we're doing the lights is you'll notice there's no cables going from those two to these four and then again to those two. The reason is because I've got wireless DMX that I'm running. You can see the uh, antenna down there at the bottom. These four are running off of the wireless DMX. Those two are running off of wireless DMX right there. And then these two are running off of wireless DMX as well. So what that prevents is any cables. Um, the application here obviously is if you're in a, at a wedding or you're doing a party and, and uh, you've got a, a door threshold that you've got to cross. You don't want to spend a fortune in tape over the course of your lights and then also just have a nicer presentation is go wireless. Now at this point I've only got three wireless receivers. Obviously using them all right now. I'd like to get some more. Okay, so back here at the computer, and uh, I don't know if I mentioned this, I'm running a MacBook Pro, it's a 13 inch, uh, and uh, on my previous Show Express video that I did like seven or eight months ago, I couldn't get the Express 512 box to consistently work with the MacBook Pro. Somebody gave me a, somebody commented on my video and gave me a tip on um, keeping the application or the USB from going to sleep um, and so that was the that was a minor issue and I got it fixed I appreciate the help and uh, and we got it worked out I'm, I would much rather use the MacBook Pro on this versus using the laptop I work from home you can see the I run three monitor well the a computer and then two additional monitors it's a pain uh, also I don't want to run the risk of uh, dropping that laptop and then being in a world of hurt with work so Another feature I wanted to talk about is the uh, the quick access to some of these um, scenes. So, for instance, you'll see on that orange, it has an O bl below it. So, if I hit Shift O, okay, boom, it puts it on. Okay, and the, the reason I hit Shift is because it's a capital O. Uh, probably a better one would have been that R down there. So, if I hit Shift R, boom, it goes to red. Now, if I hit regular R, the the wash light will come on. See the red wash? Okay, that's regular R. I've got the caps set on spot 150s. The way that that feature works is you go to button trigger. Okay, it'll bring up a menu. You've got to click keyboard and then you've got your option of uh, caps or lowercase uh, letter. So what I've done is like for uh, white for example, which is the one I just clicked, I've got it as a capital W for the spot 150s and then for the wash lighting I've got just lowercase w for white of course B is blue, P is pink C is uh, cyan, red is uh, R is red, you get the point um, and each one of them is shown uh, on there you know which, which letter okay another uh, somebody commented on a previous one and wanted to know about these faders okay so the way that these work are you can assign up to four different faders on the side and you can control essentially the RGBA functions of each light uh, or of, of assigned lights or the dimmer function so I've got them all set up as dimmer um, and so for the all lights function okay right now it's at zero percent uh, it, which is full on you can go full hundred percent but for my purposes that doesn't work it only matters if you get below zero so at, once you go into the negative things, I'll turn over here and look at this. Right now it's at 0%. And I'll fade it down to 0%. And fade it back up. Or well, negative 100%, I guess, really is what it is. And my mind is 0%. Okay, so I'll come back over here and bring it up to 0%, which is full on. Things will work fine. Okay, the, you can assign that by right clicking and you can put a caption, which you can see my caption right there says all lights, or you can edit and you can see that I've got the dimmer set for uh, each different light. Uh, you can do red, green, or blue. I just did the dimmer, you know, uh, for each one. So 
I've got four different sliders over there, which is the max that the program will allow you to do. I've got a color band picks. I've, the reason I've got that one separated from the others is that light is so bright. It, it actually washes out the other wash lights, so sometimes I have to use that to balance. Uh, the slider to balance, I should say. The next one over is wash lighting. So that one is all my wash lighting, including the color band picks. Then I've got the moving heads on their own channel. And then I've got uh, all lights, which obviously would imply all lights. If I wanted to fade, if I didn't want to do blackout, but if I wanted to fade down. So it's a pretty nice little feature over there on the faders. Very easy to use um, and very useful as well. Okay, the last thing I wanted to talk about was some macros. Okay, so I've got a few over here. Uh, this one's called Let's Party, or Party Mode, I should say. The, the image says Let's Party. So when I click Let's Party, you'll notice that a bunch or several different things happen. Okay, it activates the Revo, the Swarm, it puts the up lighting into party mode. It puts the wash lighting into party mode, which is actually right there. It puts the spot 350 on green, prismed, rotating. It puts the spot 350s on cyan with a razor, and uh, and, uh, and it puts the spot 350. So anyway, long story. The, the moral being that when I click that macro over on the left, the let's party, you can see the spot 350 is. It's actually in sound active mode. Of course, I don't have any bass going. The wash light or the up lighting is is on a pre-done program, you know, where they're just basically timed out at a second or half a second going through. As soon as I unclick, let's party. Okay, everything goes back to normal. All right, and so that's a macro. So what I the way that that works is whatever you want on that macro, you go ahead and select it, and then you you right click. Whoops, <laughs> help if I right click, and you do update macro button. All right, so if I wanted to change it and I didn't want my up lights to be part of the macro, then what I would do is do the macro, I would click the macro, I would take the up lights off, okay, and then update macro. Okay, so what you'll see is now. When I click party mode, up lighting does not come on. They're completely, you know, static or not even on. But the spot 350 is still doing its thing around the room. So, but I do want that to come on because when I when I click let's party, I want I want the the party to start. So what I'll do is whoop, I'm right clicking, turn that back on. Update macro button. All right. So now when I hit it, they're on, and the lights are doing what I want them to do. All right, so uh, I've got another one called Slow Dance. Uh, it, you can see the, the picture that I put on there is just like, you know, classical dance looks thing. So when I click Slow Dance, okay, the wash lighting goes to blue. The up lighting, I don't have anything assigned to it. I just, whatever it was on previously. I got the spot 350 and the spot 150s that just kind of search the room with this kind of cool gobo. Um, kind of hard to keep up with it. It's actually moving slow, but it's a big room. I mean, it's a it's a small room. So, uh, and then the spot 150s are on blue as well with a star gobo. This one's on like a swirl of circles. Really is what I got to call them. But anyway, so. You can kind of see some cool uh, features with uh, Show Express, and I've barely tapped the surface of what you could do. John Kenneford has some really good video tutorials on there. Uh, I, it, really, that's how I got my start with uh, with Show Express. I really like the software. I, at first, I was a little bit on the fence about it, but I really like it now. Um, and you can, like I mentioned, you can have buttons a second page of thing. Now I've only got four banks set up right here. On button page number one, I've got eight different scenes or uh, blocks, I guess, on here. Now, this is, you can see this one's empty. For wedding specific, like if, if I've got um, special colors for up lighting, special colors for wash lighting, I would put that in this uh, box. And the way you do that is you, 
you uh, click on this and go to add light scene and of course it would have to be a scene that you've already done um, ahead of time and then you just add the button all right guys well hopefully you enjoyed the tutorial this has been kind of a, um, a mid-level tutorial not real in-depth but probably more so in-depth than um, uh, my, well definitely more in-depth than my first video uh, now that I know the software better if you're controlling you know more than just a couple of lights I think computer control is the way to go it, it's it's really really easy it, it's really easy and it's so much quicker um, previously I, I think I mentioned I had the Shave Obey 10 uh, controller it was fine it was fine with what I had at the time I only had you know two or three lights uh, but now that I've got, um, uh, I don't know, 16 or 20, something like that, uh, it, it makes a big difference to control it with, with uh, the software. I, Shave Show Express is great. I've not used any of the other um, programs that are out there. I know that uh, American DJ has the My DMX 2.0 or something along those lines. The guy, the salesman at Guitar Center recommended uh, Show Express over My, my DMX. Uh, and so far, I've loved it, loved it. So if you've got any further questions, uh, don't hesitate to comment. I would love to answer them if I can. Um, or uh, maybe you've got something that you can add to the, uh, to the video yourself. Uh, so comment below. Outside of that, practice and enjoy.